This is the story of one of the most evil doctors I've ever heard of. Doctor's first oath is to do no harm, and this man harmed people in vulnerable communities over and over and over again. Before Dr. Death, which is based off of a true story on NBC, which you should check out, there is Dr. John Ronald Brown, also known as Butcher Brown, or the Butcher of Tijuana. This is John Ronald Brown, graduated from Utah Medical School in 1947. He was a general practitioner for 20 years. After almost losing a patient during a thyroidectomy, he decided to pursue formal surgical training. By 1973, he was doing gender reassignment surgeries and was a self-appointed specialist. And he was actually hailed as a hero in the trans community. Bear in mind that this is the 70s, and it's kind of the Wild West for LGBTQ issues, especially gender reassignment surgery. And most of his patients were trans people who couldn't afford the fees of reputable surgeons. And in the community, they actually called his house the House of Dreams. The sad reality was that it was more of a house of nightmares. He actually had never been qualified as a surgeon. And the reason his surgeries were so inexpensive is because he was literally doing backyard surgeries under like deplorable conditions. Like he turned his garage into an operating theater. He's done surgeries in hotel rooms and even trains. What's worse is that he maimed people. One victim was left wearing diapers because of her botched surgery. Another one said they spent tens of thousands of dollars trying to repair the damage that he did. The medical community caught wind of this, and his medical license was revoked in 1977 due to gross negligence. Desperate to get his license back, he actually wrote a letter appealing to the board saying that he had issues with authority. The letter had no effect. So he actually moved to Mexico, where he could practice medicine no questions asked. And he actually started performing male genitalia enhancement surgeries. Weirdly enough, he was actually featured on an episode of Inside Edition about this. And this was the title. Yeah, and I read that during the episode, he was performing a surgery and the man actually woke up in the middle of the surgery screaming, but he played it off like it was normal. That actually led him to being sentenced to three years in prison where he served 18 months. His downfall was in 1998 when he performed a leg amputation on somebody suffering from body integrity identity disorder. He did not perform the surgery correctly, and the wound became gangrenous, and he passed away. The victim was found in his hotel room by his friend who backed out of the procedure at the last minute. He was convicted and sent to prison. This man hurt already disenfranchised people. And that's one of the most evil doctors I've ever heard of.